guys, we are outside the National Park in Killarney, right outside Mucker's house. Now, we travel all the way around the world to look at pandas being born and all that kind of crap. And we have an endangered species on our own doorstep. Tones, get in there now, nice and quietly, right? Beautiful red deer, right? And you can see there's a huge stag. He's Mr. Kingpin sitting down there, huge horns, right? Now, we're in the wild here, okay? We're also on the side of the road. But at any stage, this could kick off that some young stag, young buck, is going to try and nip in and have an L shenanigans with one of those female deer. So I'm going to show you how to cook an amazing dish. These are an endangered species, but I'm going to show you how to do a great dish with one of their cousins, the Sika deer, instead. So what am I doing today? There's actually no cooking involved at all in it. I'm going to show you how to do a carpaccio. We've all heard of beef carpaccio. Well, I'm going to do it with the fillet of deer, of a Sika deer. Those bad boys, first cousin. Close. As much as I'd love to, can't touch them. Tones, come on in here and let's have a quick look at what we got going on. You can see here, that's the fillet, and it's got its chain on it here, right? It's the same as a fillet of beef. It's got the chain on it there. So I've just basically trimmed it down, and that's what we're going to use. So I've taken off all the sinew, all the fat, all the silver chain on it, and we're going to trim down and make the dish out of this piece here. You gotta remember one thing though, guys, right? These are wild animals in the background. At any stage, anything could kick off. Just picture, how would you explain this? Tones, like, you're in the nightclub, okay? And you got a couple of women around and you're saying, yeah, these are all my girls now. And some young buck comes up and says, how are you girls, you know? That's what's going on with the big boy in the middle of the field there. Scattered around the field, actually, last year's guy is out there. Broken horns and everything. But you think he's gonna give up? Is he hell? He's gonna try and nip in there for a bit of loving as well. So at any stage, something could kick off. Anyway, let's get going again. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slice this fillet really thin. But this deer is so fresh and so full of flavor. We're gonna slice it nice and finely. I'm waiting for one of these guys to kick off. When you hear these deer screaming, it's just incredible. You should come down somewhere like the Lake Hotel. And you see these deer walking past you in the morning in the haze and the mist. It's absolutely stunning. Now is the time to come to Killarney, guys. From November onwards. Great deals in hotels, great meals in, in, in Trevos. Now is the time to come down. And it never rains in Kerry, ever. Because we're in the wild and in nature, and I know we're on the side of the road here, lads, but we're gonna keep this as natural as we possibly can. So in here, you've seen me use this before. It's balsamic vinegar, and it's just reduced down with a bit of wild honey, natural honey, okay? So we're just putting a little bit of a garnish because with game, we always love just a little bit of sweetness. So that's just a really simple kind of garnish. And now what we do, because it, the, the venison fillet, it's nowhere near as big and as thick as a beef fillet, so it's only smaller pieces, but we're just gonna kind of scatter it around nice and naturally and one of the most important things is is when you're when you're doing it with good quality beef or good quality venison if you get to know your butcher well lads your venison your butcher will be able to find this venison for you keep it nice and thin that's the key to it because otherwise the texture it's just not as nice so now let's get a close-up on this tones there's all our venison around And now, all we're gonna do, get my bowl, is we're gonna keep just the most basic and simple of salad. A little bit of wild rocket, a little bit of parmesan shavings, a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of lemon juice. So let's go. So in with our rocket. We've got this beautiful Parmesan Reggiano. Thinly slices of it, if you want you can grate it. Thinly slices is just as good. We're gonna put in a bit of that. I want you to think about the flavors we're using here, Tones. Rocket, oh yeah, peppery, mmm. Parmesan Reggiano, oh yeah, salty, oh yeah, salty, peppery. Oh, you see, now you're getting it, okay? And now, we're just gonna get a little bit of lemon. Mind my car. And squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice. Absolutely beautiful. And a little drop of olive oil, just good quality olive oil. Ah. 
And when you're making dressings, guys, if you're using vinegar and oil or whatever, it's entirely up to yourself how sharp you want it. I love sharp dressing in my salad, so I might use one part acid to maybe two, two and a half parts oil, but just taste everything, okay? Don't get caught up. You, all, you should know me by now. Do not get caught up on measurements. A little bit of cracked black pepper. And like I said, you guys know me by now. I only ever use rock salt when cooking, so a couple of twists of salt, rock salt. And would you believe, that's it. We have created the most amazing flavor. So we're just gonna mix this up. And we're just gonna put that as the garnish on a plate as an homage to these bad boys behind us. And we have just made the most amazing dish. Carpaccio of venison fillet. Sika deer. Look at all, even these boys are checking up. They're looking at, what the hell, what's your man making? Don't worry guys, it's your cousin. It's none of you guys, you're all right. Now let me tell you, right? The National Park is 10 yards behind me there. The most stunning natural beauty you will find. Tones, am I right? Pretty much anywhere in the world, okay? And it's here on our own doorstep. Millions of people the world over travel to Killarney to see what we have on our own doorstep. You can get in there, stay there for a lifetime for free, and you still won't see all the beauty that's around. So I want you to come down to Kerry, guys. I want you to come to the National Park. Trust me, I'm telling you on this one. I'm always telling you, trust my food. Trust me on what's in there is just simply stunning. Let's go, Tones. Let's see if we can... Uh, Get a close up on these bad boys over there. Anyone for some venison? <laughs> <laughs>